Well, today we are Wine Diamonds on the Road. We're at Tabor Home Vineyards and Winery in Baldwin, Iowa, on the Iowa Wine Trail. And we're tasting a very, very special wine today. If you've ever had port style wine, fortified wines, this Frontenac is just, to me, it seems like it's just made to become this style of wine. So tell us a little bit more about this wine and why you chose to make a port out of it. Um, uh, we have been looking about Frontenac for many, many years and have just not come up with a, a style that I think is, is really good that would make a really um, classy wine. Um, the rosés just weren't working. The full body red seems all, seem always to have too much uh, acid level. But um, there is characteristics of that grape that we find when they're really, really ripe. I mean, talking about ripe to overripe, that includes almost a chocolate or a mm -hmm. cocoa characteristic that uh, everybody can seem to get if they allow the Frontenac to, grapes to get really, really ripe. Um, a number of years ago, I was astounded by a Frontenac port that was made by Chris Lawler at Galena Cellars. And I always had that in the back of my mind that maybe if we uh, ventured into making a commercial uh, Frontenac, that it should be a port. Yeah, well, she's an awesome winemaker mm -hmm. and we met her last summer. So yeah. let's give this a try. Let's give this a try. And that's the aromas. Yeah. The it. Dark chocolate. Mm-hmm. Mm. Maybe a little molasses. Yes, yeah. <sighs> a little bit of awesomeness tossed in. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop talking and drink. Real dark, dark cherry flavor. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, you see it coat that glass. It's yeah. just rich and mouth filling, mm -hmm. and belly warming. Yeah. And it didn't hurt it at all to be. Uh, in a tank for four years. No, I, I think it was is there hanging out and just waiting for this to happen. Mm. This is mm. really, really tasty stuff. Yeah. We got a nice cold winter day. Yeah. <laughs> I hear people say, oh, I don't like port. It's like, oh my God, you gotta try these port wines that we're making here in the Midwest. Mm -hmm. This thing in particular, this has been waiting for waiting for you for four years. Yeah. And it's it's not even look at the bottle. Check this out. There's not even a label on it yet. No label on it yet. So it's that good and that new. <laughs> and soon, soon you'll be able to come out soon here be, yes. and, and get this wine for yourself. And you're going to call it? It'll just simply be Frontenac. There's an issue with using the name port. Sure. But uh, there's a description on the back of what the whole process was and the characteristics that, we had, that we've been talking about. So looking forward to getting that label on it. Yeah. There's it's already a. I'm, I must admit, there's already a following for this wine, so <laughs> it been, should, there shouldn't be a hard sell. Have you been giving people tastes of it? Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, that's a great way to, a great way to tease yes. people with here, something. Here in so Jackson good. County, um, we barter as much as we can, <laughs> and this is high on the list of so barter. <laughs> I can see where, yeah, we'll, we'll barter a little bit today. So, from Tabor Home Vineyards and Winery in Baldwin, cheers, Paul. This cheers. Is awesome stuff. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm.